Hello to all! To install Forestation, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-on, Install, and choose the zip file. Pull down the menu. In Asset Folder, select the location where you want to save the assets. Click Accept. And now click on Install Pack. Select the asset file, Volume 1, and wait for the installation. This may take a few minutes. When finished, install Volume 2. Don't forget to click on Save Preference to keep its information in memory. Close the window and go to the N panel of Blender, key N of the keyboard. The B Production tab is now present. It includes all the B Production add-ons. You will find Forestation in this tab. You can now start using it. Let's discover how Forestation works. A click on the thumbnail will open the library. Select a tree. We can choose the season at the time of import, but also its level of detail. High poly or low poly. The tree can be imported in the center of the scene or on the cursor. Click on Add Tree. Once the tree is imported, to move it, always select the foliage. If you select the trunk, it will move without the leaves. You can randomize the size and rotation of the tree with the Randomize button. The Snap to Ground button allows you to put the tree on your ground. Let's switch to Preview Mode. It is easy to change the season after importing. Just select the season in the Tree Settings panel. Now let's discover the animation function. Let's add a new tree and check Animated Leaf in the Tree Animation panel. Then launch the animation with the spacebar of your keyboard. Different sliders allow you to customize the wind, size, speed, and power. You can also choose a preset from the list. Let's say you want to duplicate your animated tree. I do Shift plus D and move it further in the scene. If I run the animation again, I can see that the animation is horrible. I have to click on Retarget Animation to fix this problem. Low poly trees are faster to load and contain less polygons. Note that low poly trees are one and the same object. Micro displacement is not available with low poly trees. To enable micro displacement on high poly trees, you need to switch cycles to experimental mode. Make sure that the Adaptive Subdivision checkbox is checked in the Modify Trunk Subdivision. In the Cycles Parameters Subdivision, you can adjust the quality. In the Dicing Rate Render parameter, the lower the number, the higher the quality. Two pixels for the viewpoint gives a nice rendering. Now let's switch to Render Mode and admire the micro displacement. If a winter tree gives you black squares when rendering, this is normal. Increase the number of transparency bounces. In lights patches, increase the value transparent. This solves the problem, but the rendering time will be longer. Another method is to remove the leaves manually. The rendering time will be accelerated. Other settings are available in the shaders. For example, if I select my trunk, I can add snow. I can also add moss and change its orientation. I should do the same thing on the top branches. Enjoy! A new feature of Forestation is to be able to import assets in two different ways. Append or Link. Append imports the mesh and textures into your Blender file. The link function allows you to link the tree from the location where it is saved. This means that neither the textures nor the mesh are saved in your Blender file. Your file is therefore lighter. Note that with the link function, the mesh is not editable. If you want to edit the trees, you have to use the append function. To use the asset browser with Forestation, nothing is easier. Go to Edit, Preferences, and in File Paths, add the path to the place where you previously saved your assets. Select the folder where all the trees are. Click on Add Asset Library. 
Rename the name and don't forget to save the preferences. Go to the Asset Browser tab and select Forestation. Discover all the trees in HD and Low Poly. Just click and drag to add your trees. Enjoy! Thank <laughs> you.